Patrick, listening in Panama City to Talk Radio 101. Hey, Patrick. Yes, sir. Uh, I'd like to leave an unbiased opinion, and I'll leave the air. I Googled and uh, researched that street uh, Michael uh, Brown was uh, shot on. It's a 35-mile-an-hour zone, 60 feet wide, with 36-inch wide handicap-accessible sidewalks on both sides. Okay. And the other thing is is that uh, Michael Brown was not a teenager. He was an 18-year-old with a high school diploma. I'll leave That's the not air. a teenager? 18-year-olds are technically uh, teenagers. Well, yes, but in a, in, in a court of law, and uh, if you're in the military, because I did 20 years in the Army, uh, 17 years old, I was able to buy a house and a new car. And most veterans under 19 years old would be offended if you called them a teenager at that age mm-hmm. with their accomplishments. They're young adults. Well, but, people can be what offended about whatever they want. The word teen exists in the actual amount of, uh, you know, the number that it represents their age. So by definition, right. they're, they're a teenager. Yeah. So That's what's the point of doing the research on the road? Where were you going with that? Oh, I, I um, well, actually, I am a uh, subcontractor for the state highway department, and that's how I came up with that. And the other thing is, is that the word teenager is a spinoff from the 1928 as a catch on words. Uh, no one ever said teen back then. It just rhymed with, it was a play on words and numbers, 13, 14, 15. I guess what I don't understand, what I want to understand, and, and Mark, maybe you're getting it, and I'm, I'm missing it, but you brought in all this information about the road and how long the, you know, the how wide the sidewalks were. What were you trying to? Well, my suggestion would be that uh, that a person who is walking in the middle of the road when there is a big sidewalk would be a person who, you know, perhaps should have got their butt over to the sidewalk. Right, that's my point. And uh, those uh, streets were cut in in 1993 and improved, and it's 60 feet wide. That's why the officer said something to him, because it is an improved road at 35 miles per hour. Well, the officer allegedly uh, stopped him because he was walking down the middle of the road, right? And About that's, by definition, that's disorderly conduct. Uh, so when you're blocking the roadway and preventing cars from going to their destination, uh, that's typically known as disorderly conduct in the criminal statutes. So if that was the reason why he stopped him, it's a legitimate reason to, you know, I think for the police to stop someone. Hey, man, can you get out of the road, please? Uh, but the officer apparently... Apparently also claimed that he saw cigars in his hand and that that was another reason that he stopped him, that he had supposedly just uh, robbed, allegedly, some kind of a liquor store and jacked with a friend and jacked some cigars off the counter, like a $50 box of cigars. So anyway, Patrick, anything else you want to share tonight about the case? Uh, no, sir. I have no complaints. I love your station. All right. Thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Now, who knows whether... Uh, Mike Brown actually had the cigars in his hand, as the officer claimed. That's not real clear. I, yeah, I thought that uh, the so that was that that part's confusing me a little bit. All right. Um, so I know that there was a robbery. It would seem yes. odd to stop everybody in um, everybody who had cigars, though. Well, he believed that he fit the description, apparently, okay. of the alleged suspect, plus he had cigars allegedly in his hand, at least according to the officer in question here. Okay. Well, um, so we saw nothing, a report last nothing night. changes that a uh, unarmed man was shot in the back, right? Exactly. And even if he had been armed, he wasn't allegedly waving his arms at the police. He wasn't uh, threatening in any way uh, towards them, as I understand it. He had uh, run away. Now, they, there was an alleged scuffle, I guess, between the cop and him in uh, in the police car. I guess the problem but, here is, is that um, it's transparency. I'm supposed to believe the police officer. In this circumstance, mm-hmm. and I have there were witnesses as well. Apparently, w- there are witnesses, yeah. and the witnesses, you know, don't necessarily back up the police officer's story, and that's nope. a difficult, difficult situation. It drags the whole racial component into this, which I would prefer not to have to deal with. Sadly, we do. Um, and you know, if if these uh, cameras in police officer in police cars and Frankly, I think every police officer in America should have a camera, a body worn camera too. If these were streaming live to the internet, there wouldn't be any question. Ferguson wouldn't be on fire right now. You would see what happened because I don't think people would have to, as nearly as big of a problem with shooting an unarmed man in the back if that un- unarmed man had jacked you in the face two times, right? Like that's going to be an entirely different conversation than an unarmed man running away that gets shot in the back two times. Are you and saying that he deserved to be shot in the back after he jacked somebody in the face? I'm not claiming that at all i'm claiming that probably ferguson wouldn't be on fire free talk live seven nights a week from 7 to 10 eastern live on the liberty radio network at lrn.fm 